Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've done a video, so, you know, here I am. Uh, today is the 10th of uh, February. Uh, I know I've been a little uh, AFK, but there's a few things I've been working on uh, when it comes to Swift. Uh, some changes that might be happening. Uh, I don't have the details all together yet, but it could be very good for you if you're looking to join Swift. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, and I just want to get that out there right away because that's like, yeah, I've been working on that. Uh, along with some of the other things that go along with that. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. I think I said that quite a bit in this video, but you know what, I'm not gonna restart it. And I know that I'm really delayed on doing a Get Rich series. Uh, but I found out that I made a calculated error and I lied to you guys, not on purpose, on accident. And I'm gonna be putting all the information together to kind of correct that on my gross yearly wage. Uh, I accidentally added the, uh, the numbers up wrong. And so it was actually higher than what I really made. But we're gonna take a look at the last three years and where I'm at this year. Uh, last year I did lose three months, so I was somewhat on target, but I still fell a little short. Uh, this year, last month was a little on the short side, but I'm really gonna be bringing it in uh, through February so far. I've been having a killer month. So that's gonna average those two months out. Should be right about where, where I wanna be for Target. Uh, and then stock market, the other part of getting rich. Um, January, I didn't really do much. Uh, I had a lot going on personal. Um, you know, my mom's been really, really sick and that's just a whole mess. Some of you guys have been asking about her and that's highly appreciative. So here's a quick update on her. She almost died. So there's that. Uh, now, if you want to skip, skip like five minutes is about how long this is going to take. But she has a tube in her chest and the tube failed. Uh, it goes right to her heart. Uh, she's on what's called a TPN. It's total prenal nutrition or something like that. Um, I'm not a doctor, so yeah uh it goes to her heart and it helps her stay alive well there's like a little valve that's on that uh hose and it kind of broke and her blood was pumping right out of her chest right you know everywhere it thankfully i wasn't there because i probably would have gone all plumber on it and i think i would have grabbed vice grips or something and just clamped on the hose i i actually have no idea what i would have done i don't even know if that would be the the, the correct way of fixing that. So if you're a nurse or a doctor or an EMT, like do you just clamp the hose? I mean, to me that would make sense, but um, yeah, I mean, just imagine if your mother is just sitting there and then next second, you know, her heart is pumping out of her body. It's, that's not a, it, you don't work that way. So yeah, that, that was actually really kind of stressful last month. She's been off and on a little bit. The, they did like a patch thing, but they they don't know if they got to replace the tubing yet. I think that they do, but because COVID and everything else, they're not wanting to do it or her going to the hospital. So that deer was missing its head. Guys, rewind the last few seconds ago. There was a deer on the side of the road right over here and it was missing its head. Like some guy just straight up came over and just like was like yeah i'm gonna take this deer head and said i shot it it must have had a huge rack not that rack guys the other type anyway uh different story so yeah it was just whoops uh, a little windy right there so it's just there's just a little bit there um when it came to my ma but everything right now she's fine so yeah uh we're good uh but there's gonna be some I'm, i might have to take a few days off for another deal kind of talking about in line with my mother um and doing some rearranging and finances 
Don't wanna go into a whole lot of detail about that right this minute, but that's gonna be opening up some doors possibly, but in the meantime, there's a lot of paperwork I gotta get involved. Um, but, you know, I'm looking at moving some of my finances around and that may help me in the stock market. Uh, just various different capabilities or possibilities, you could say. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to double down a little bit. Uh, part of the reason why I wasn't doing stock trading in the last month or two is because I've been doing paper trading. And uh, most of the paper trading, uh, okay, if you guys don't know what paper trading is, it's basically the real stock market, but with fake money. And most of those sites, um, there's a few of them. Uh, I guess I could make a recommendation later, but not, not in this video. They give you $100,000 that you can play with and see how well you do or you don't do. Yeah, in three months, I took 100,000 to 120,000, so yeah. Uh, and that was a combination of stocks and crypto market. So, you know, uh, some flexibility there. And kind of talking about crypto and stock market, I'm kind of looking at Robinhood a little bit different. I know I had a, a very strong viewpoint, but I kind of sat down with that platform and I thought of something and I'm kind of using it differently now. I'll explain that later, don't worry about it but it could be a very good thing. Could be, we'll see. Uh, I'm still kind of playing around with that. I don't want to make any style recommendations one way or the other until I get better of a picture. And you know what? Um, my YouTube channel is not about trucking. It's about me. Uh, so, you know, for those that were, you know, here from the beginning before I got into truck driving, I don't think it's very many of you guys, but there's a few of you guys I know that I've talked to that I have gone backwards and watched my really old videos. You guys, yeah, you guys are legit. You watched a lot of my videos. Um, and I see some of those videos popping up in my watch, you know, in my analytics. So that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, and if you guys are waiting for new content from me, go and watch my, real, my older videos. There's seriously like 400 videos of mine. It is kind of windy out here. Uh, you can see how much he got blown. Uh, and I'm getting blown a little bit, but not quite that bad. Anyway, so... Uh, I kind of forgot where I was going. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll just uh, like hit the restart button, kind of go somewhere else. Uh, I got a student right now. Uh, he didn't want to be on video. Uh, he just didn't want it. So that's part of the reason why I was also a little slow at putting videos up, but he's not in the truck right now. Uh, he ran out of hours, so he's in the hotel doing a 34 hour reset and I'm out running the roads, making some extra money. Uh, but he is gonna be upgrading here in about a week, week and a half. I think I got another student already planned out from YouTube. Um, but I'm still waiting to get uh, some details on that. Not in a real big rush. I got enough people that are trying to get on my truck. Um, but yeah, so kind of working on that. And I'll see if he would like to be on video, if he will. Uh, there'll be a lot of good content that'll be coming out with that student that I would like to try to do. Um, now, the other thing, this truck now has 32,000 miles coming up on 33. It will have 33,000 miles when I get back to Temple. Uh, this truck, there's some things I like about it and there's some things I don't. And this is the exact same truck-ish as my 2019 was, uh, but two, two years newer. Uh, there's a few minor changes um, and I guess I'll go through them real quick. Uh, as you can see, this has the smart wheel and I really like having the audio and cruise control on the steering wheel. Although, I would prefer the audio be on this side and the cruise being on this side. Um, it's just, I normally drive with this hand right here. And so, you know, audio is something that you mess around with more than the cruise control. So if it was over here, I think I would just prefer that a little bit more than, you know, be just cruising down the road and be like, why am I losing speed? And then realize I accident, accidentally hit the cancel button. Yeah, I've done that a few times. 
the one thing I like about this truck, like my 2019, it does come with a load gauge, but a lot of the Swift trucks are not coming with that. And so I kind of been looking at some aftermarket options uh, that would be really cheap and easy to put on for those that don't have the suspension gauge. But I have been trying to get Swift to bring that gauge back. That gauge is a lifesaver. And my longtime viewers or people that have been driving, post down in the comments how much you love that gauge when it comes to balancing your trailer. Uh, when I was talking to Swift, they basically said that they didn't know that's what we were using it for. And basically that's kind of where that ended. Uh, I'm still le making it a topic, but you know, I'm just a Swift driver. So there's not, I'm, I'm trying guys, I'm trying. I really want that gauge to come back. But this one does not have the, the air dumps on it at all. And for me, I really need to have the air dumps due to my back, but it doesn't have them. And then I guess you can see these seats right here. Uh, I'll talk about these seats. I, I know I haven't y'all, I'm sorry. I'll do a video on those here real, sh real shortly. But these seats, when, they when I first got them, I was a little annoyed with them, but they kind of grew on me. Um, and I'll explain that in the seat video because uh, it'd be too hard for me to try to explain it while I'm driving. It'd be a lot easier for me to explain it when the truck is parked and the floor has been kind of dirty so I haven't been wanting to do that video. So I need to clean the floor. Uh, it's it's a little embarrassing. Don't look down there guys. See, you know, it's, it's kind of dirty. Don't look. So, and her bed, oh my God, I just saw it. It needs to get cleaned. Anyway, um yeah so i got 33 on the clock right now uh i'm a little surprised how many miles i got on it uh it's been a pretty good truck though so far uh when i first got my 2019 it was broken the day i got it uh it was kind of funny i did tell a story once it's in a very old video if you guys want me to re re remake that video just let me know but i don't want to keep remaking old videos and I'm not gonna have the time to sit sit there and look through 400 some odd videos for that one video where I talked about it. So yeah, it's there somewhere. If you know what video it is or you possibly saw it, um, throw the link in the description, I mean, down in the comment section and I'll pin it. That'll be awesome. Uh, I'm talking about pinning and description and you know, all that kind of good stuff. My channel has been growing quite rapidly recently, and I want to remind everybody, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away 10 ounces of silver. I wish I wasn't going to, but I said I was, I'm still going to. 10 ounces of silver is going for just underneath $300. So, I mean, it's not like breaking the bank, but silver has been skyrocketing. And I just think it'd be kind of cool to give away one ounce of silver for each thousand subscribers I got. 10,000 is a, for me, it'd be a huge landmark. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you like my content, you know, do hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and share this with a friend. It does help me. Um, and yeah, you could be in one of the 10,000 viewers of mine who's going to win. 10 ounces of silver 100% free mail to you return receipt insured the whole nine yards you will in fact get it it will not be lost in the mail so yeah stay tuned for that when I hit 10,000 subs uh, I'll start actually designing the giveaway process um, and I will put that together I'm not sure I'm gonna do that, but I wanna reward the people that are subscribed and watch my videos. Um, so yeah, I guess you'll have to watch the videos to find out how to do that. Um, yeah, and then there's also Patreon. If you become a Patreon supporter, um, you'll just, I'll put all the ways to get the 10 ounces of silver right in Patreon. 
uh, very easy. So it's easy for you to sign up. So there you go. It could be kind of helpful for you, but it also helps support my channel. Uh, Patreon is a way that you can donate a little bit of money to me monthly. And making videos takes a lot of time. So if you really like my content, you know, pass me a buck uh, so I could drink a beer at the end of the day. Actually, you might, I might need $5. Beer has gone up in price. Uh, not that my gut needs it, but hey. Uh, talking about beer. If you have watched this much of my video, post down in the description. In the description? What the hell? You guys can't post in there. In the comment section, what is your favorite beer? As I come up on this immigration checkpoint. Uh, actually, stay tuned with me. There's something funny. You guys got to see it. Uh, if, if you don't see it, you're not going to believe me. And I might actually upload this clip right here solely by itself. It's fucking hilarious. So, yeah. Uh, we're coming up on it. And in about a minute. Um, yeah. Fast forward one minute if you don't want to listen to me jabber for a minute. Whatever. So. Uh... I'm already sitting here. I'm, I'm hoping it's still there, guys. I'm hoping it's still there. It shocked the living hell out of me the first time I saw it. Me and my student, we've been laughing our butts off about it for like the last several weeks. It's, it's rich. It's really rich. Uh, immigration is actually going to think that I'm going to be like one of those hard, hard people saying... Well, I don't need to answer questions or whatever. I'm a constitutionalist, which I am, but you know what? I'll tell anybody. Yeah, I'm American. I have no problem with that. I'm American. I'm proud to be American. So I have no problem telling them I'm American. I'm proud to be one. And the funny thing is right on the other side of this checkpoint. And if you don't know how to do a checkpoint immigration uh, deal, I'll show you. It's really simple. Now, I do lock the doors because Layla is on the truck. And I don't want her to jump out, their dog to jump in or whatever. Sometimes they want to open up the door and take a look inside. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but I lock the door so they can't just open it when I'm not paying attention, uh, passenger side or something. And yeah, I just, I don't want no problems. She's my baby and she goes with me absolutely everywhere. So, that uh. hush. And I actually have no idea why I'm hauling. Uh, I got a backhaul today for Walmart. Uh, picked it up at, uh, actually, I had it. JD Produce, something like that. Uh, picked it up from uh, a warehouse of farmers, I think. I don't know. Something like that. Hi, doggy. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Great. Anybody else on the table, sir? Nope. Yep. And you see, it's just that simple. Answer a few quick questions. Sometimes they'll ask you, what are you hauling? Or if you're empty, loaded, whatever. And you just answer them. In this case, if, they, if you ask me, I've been like, produce. Other than that, I have no idea. Uh, I didn't even look at the paperwork. I just signed for it and left. Oh no, I'm going two miles an hour too fast. All right, is it still there? I think so. Yeah, it is. All right, I'm going to slow down just for this. Look right there. There's a fucking toy car. A Lamborghini. Um, I asked them about that 
like two weeks ago, a week ago, I was like, so what's the sto Oh, there's a truck in there. Uh, yeah, don't don't carry illegals and don't carry drugs. It's, it's bad for your health and it's really bad for your job. Uh, yeah, like it's really bad for your job and you lose your license. It's not worth it. So anyway, I was asking, so what's the story? Did somebody try to drive that car through the checkpoint? Um, like, like, why is there a toy car in the impound lot? I just think that's freaking hilarious. But what's sad is they told me that no, they can't say if it was drugs or illegal, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be drugs that were hidden inside of it because did you see how small that car was like it's really small so drugs are probably the most likely thing inside of that or was inside of that but i just want to know like how did they write that up how i wish i knew it's fucking hilarious to me Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that laugh, uh, seeing that toy car. Um, I just, I, I, every time I go by, I, I'm making sure I take a look at it. Uh, to me, it's just, it's a trip. I thoroughly enjoy it. And uh, I got a little while on this road right here. And then uh, I'm off to, uh, uh, towards Houston. And then from there, back to Temple. I'll grab my student again. We're gonna get his 50 hours done. And then I'll be grabbing another student. So thank you for watching. Please comment, like, rate, and subscribe if you haven't hit that subscribe button. Uh, look around for that 10,000 sub, and I will see y'all another day.